Hello, this is Margit from CriminologyWeb.com and in this video I'll go over the so-called Bobo doll experiments. The Bobo doll experiments were a series of experiments conducted by the famous psychologist Albert Bandura. Bandura had proposed social learning theory which says that aggressive behavior can be learned by observing other people. And one of the ways in which he tested his, his ideas was through the Bobo doll experiments. This consisted of several different experiments that Bandura conducted in the 1960s and they're famous because it showed something that had never been shown before. An experiment like this would probably not get through today because it confronted the children who participated in the study with a person who was behaving aggressively. But here is what Bandura and his colleagues did in one of these experiments. In that experiment, 72 children participated in the study, and they were 3 to 6 years old. During the, the experiment, the kids were led to a playroom where there was a little table in one corner of the room, and the kids could play there with uh, potato prints and picture stickers. Then the researchers had an adult who also came into the room, who was then made to sit in the opposite corner of the room. And in that corner, there was also a table with a Tinker Toy set and a 5-foot inflated Bobo doll. A Bobo doll is a doll that can be knocked down and then it gets back up into its original position. And you can see an example here. Now, the researchers had divided the kids into three groups. For one group of the kids, the adult in the room would just sit at the table and assemble the Tinker Toys quietly in a, a subdued manner. For the second group of kids, the adult in the room would start assembling the Tinker Toys, but after a minute or so, they would turn to the Bobo doll and start to behave aggressively towards it. For example, they would start to punch the doll, toss it up, kick it up, and say aggressive things to it. In total, the kids were in that playroom for about 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, the kids were brought into a second playroom with a variety of toys, among others, a 3-foot Bobo doll and a one-way mirror behind which there were observers. So those were the first two groups of kids. The kids in the third group were not confronted with the adult who participated in the study, meaning the adult who was kicking the Bobo doll or the adult who sat quietly at the table assembling the Tinker Toys. These kids were what is called the, the control group, meaning these are kids who simply acted the way they acted without ever being exposed to the experiment. The analysis that the researchers did compared these three groups of kids with each other. So the first group of kids who had been in the room with the adult who was assembling the Tinker Toys quietly, the second group of kids who had been in the room with the aggressive adult, and the third group of kids who were part of the control group. And the results of the analysis showed the following. Children who were exposed to the adult who was aggressive towards the Bobo doll showed much more aggressive behavior afterwards in the second playroom than the other two groups of kids. Not only were they more aggressive physically, but they also imitated the verbal aggression of the adult. They were both more aggressive towards the Bobo doll in the second playroom as towards the other toys that were in that playroom. And interestingly, the types of aggression that these children showed were in part identical to, to the types of aggression that the adult in the first playroom had used. What's also interesting is that the kids who were exposed to the adult who sat at the play table and quietly assembled the Tinker Toys behaved the least aggressive of all three groups. So they were not only less aggressive than the kids who had been confronted with the aggressive adult, but they were also less aggressive than the control group. In other words, the experiment showed considerable differences between these three groups of children, and these differences were due to the behavior of the adult in the playroom, in the first playroom. If the adult had been aggressive, then the children imitated that behavior, and if the adult had been quiet and subdued, then the children also imitated that behavior. So in sum, this experiment is a classic example of how children can imitate the behavior of other people, in this case of adults. And so this experiment by Bandura and his colleagues showed support for the idea that aggressive and violent behavior can actually be learned just by observing other people and then imitating them. For more fascinating criminology and criminal justice stuff, subscribe to this channel and turn on the alarm bell 
or go to criminologyweb.com and find new posts there every week.